probably make like 50 million versions of this video. <laughs> It's Jay and today I am here with a video all about the authors that I have not read yet and I don't know why. Basically all I did was look at my bookshelf and the first five authors that I saw that I haven't read a book from them that I own, I grabbed it off the shelf. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So without further ado, let us get started. I'm pretty sure that all of these authors, you guys are going to be like, Jay, what is wrong with you? Like, you should be on these authors' books because they are a lot of your favorites. The first one that I pulled from my shelf is Lee Bardugo. I have not read the Grisha trilogy. I have it. Have not picked it up. I don't own Six of Crows or Crooked Kingdom. I want them because everybody loves them and, like, I've had these for over two years so I have no idea why I have not picked them up yet. Honestly, I think I haven't picked up these authors because of all the hype and I'm terrified that I'm gonna hate them and then everybody's gonna hate me for it. You know, the struggle. So I definitely need to get, you know, on these so that I can say that I've read them and so that I can read Six of Crows because everybody freaks out about Six of Crows and says that it's way better than this one. So eventually it'll happen. We just don't know when. The next author I have not read from, well, I've read his books that he worked with with another author, so I'm not counting it because I'm saying that this is his book by himself. So it's Jay Kristoff. I found a first edition signed copy of Nevernight and it's been sitting on my shelf ever since and everybody loves this book. Everybody raves about it and I know that there's a cat a shadow cat or something like that and I like cats so I feel like I should pick this up eventually. I just... hype man, hype! The next author is also so hyped. Everybody loves her. They think she's amazing. They love her book. Has your girl picked up any of them? No. But it is Victoria Schwab and I have the the Savage Song duology. I don't know what it's called. I have both of them. They're the only two books that I own by her but everybody and their mother seems to love her. One day, it's gonna happen. It's it's like Harry Potter, okay? All of these authors are like Harry Potter. One day it's gonna happen, we just don't know when. Next author I have is Sarah J Maas, who used to be super popular, kinda going downhill. I still have not read one of her books. She has two series out. She's making like the sixth book in one of the series. I have yet to pick up either of her series. The Throne of Glass or the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I have A Court of Thorns and Roses and the third book. Do I have the second book? No. Logic of Jan. I don't have Tower of Dawn but I have the rest of the Throne of Glass series so like why I have not picked them up? I don't know. The next author that I have is one that I can never say properly but it is Marike Nijkamp. This is her latest book. But her other one is This Is Where It Ends and that's the school shooting one, which people have had like mixed reviews about. But I've always wanted to read it, but I got this one. Still have not read it. Had it for a while. Don't even own the other one. But the point is, like, your girl gotta get on these things, but your girl never does. Alright guys, so that was five authors that I have not read yet and I don't really know why I have not read yet. I could honestly make 50 million versions of this video so I mean if you want to see another version of this with five more authors that I have not read yet because there are, there are definitely more than five then let me know down below. Let me know if you've read any of these books and which ones I should get to sooner and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!